In this video we will build switching between different themes inside React and we will do it to switch between light and dark theme. So here I already generated create React app project and inside as you can see I have just three files. First of all index.js, here is an empty app component, but most importantly I created here index.css. Let's check this out, here I have some markup for our project and I will leave a link in the description box below so you can take it from there. Also as you can see in app component I don't have anything. And here how our project is looking inside browser. So actually the first question how themes can work at all inside React and what we want to achieve. Actually we want to be able in every component, doesn't matter how deep this component is, to get some properties from our theme. Which actually means what is theme? This is for example colors for your background, foreground, maybe highlight colors, colors of links and much much more. The main idea is that all your components doesn't know anything about styling and you just get a theme. Which means you can easily switch between different themes for your application. And the bad solution here would be inside app component for example to store all our themes and somehow pass them to all our child components. Why it is bad? Because we must pass this theme a lot of levels down and it doesn't make much sense. This is why we want to have something like global object and share our theme between all our components. And for this in React we have context. This is why we want to create context with theme inside and in this way share it between the whole application. For this I will create here inside source new folder context and here we will store all our context. And the first context that we need is theme.js. To create a context inside React we are using react.createContext. This is why here we can simply create our theme context and here we want to call create context function from React. And as you can see inside we can provide default value, but in our case we don't need to. The next thing that we need is theme provider. So what is provider? This is exactly what will bring this global property to all our components. This is why here I want to create our theme provider. And what is theme provider? This is just a React component. This is why here we are getting as a parameter children. Why children? Because the idea is that inside our index.js we will wrap our app or all components that we want here to wrap with our theme provider. And it will bring our global theme everywhere. This is why here we are getting children and this children is actually our application. So here inside we want to return some markup and actually here we will have our theme context dot provider. And here inside we can pass some value, for example string foo, and then this value will be global. So here I want to close our theme context provider and inside render children because we must render our application inside. The next step will be to jump inside our index.js and here to wrap our app with this theme provider. So here I am writing theme provider and I don't pass anything inside. And after our app we need to close it. And as you can see on the top I have an import of our theme provider that we just created. Let's reload the page, as you can see we don't have any errors, but now we can jump anywhere in any component, for example in app.js and here get access to this property foo inside our value. For this we can write here that we are getting back for example our theme and we are using here use context hook. If you don't know use context hook is exactly what we need to get our global property inside component. And here we want to pass our context, in our case this is theme context that we just created. And the important part it's not theme provider, it is theme context. And here now I want to console log our theme and check what we are getting here. So as you can see with one single liner we subscribed to our context, which means in any component, doesn't matter how deep this component is, we can get this property from our context. Let's check this out, I am reloading the page and we are getting theme foo, which actually means we created inside our context this value foo and now we can share it everywhere. But obviously we want to do more and not just share some string. This is why first of all here I want to create themes that we will have inside our application. And let's say that we have just simply two themes, dark and light. And for example in dark we have background color 
And as you can see here, I am writing styles exactly like we can use them directly inside styles property in React. So here, for example, we have background color black and color white. Now we have exactly the same for our light theme. So here, let's change this to light. And here, background color will be white and color will be black. And obviously, in a big application, you can have here like hundreds of variables. Now, the question is what we want to return here inside a value. Actually, we need two things. First of all, the current theme. And secondly, some function that will change our theme. So later then we can create some button and just on click event change our theme. And I want here to write an array and you might ask why an array, why not just some property or object? Because actually this is the standard notation of React hooks and I want to write my code in exactly the same way. This is why here we are getting two things. First of all, we are getting here our theme and here I also want is dark just that we get all information possible from our context. And the second argument here will be toggle theme. And also I missed here brackets, we need to wrap everything with brackets also. So what is my idea? First of all, what is theme? This is the reference either to light theme or to dark theme, depending on what theme is active. But the main problem is that inside theme, as you can see here, we just have something like background color and color, but we don't know what is our current theme. In this case, we need some property, for example, is dark to know what theme is activated. And obviously, if you have more than two themes, then you need to have here a string, like for example, red theme or green theme or maybe black theme. In our case, we have only two. This is why here is Boolean. So outside, we just need to know if is dark is true, which means we have a dark theme. And here is our toggle theme function. We need this to change our theme. Now, first of all, we can create here is dark as a state. This is why here we can create is dark and we also need a setter. So set is dark and here we're using use state hook and inside by default we're passing false, which means by default we have a light theme. The next what we need is our theme and actually property theme we must calculate. And we can calculate it here every time based on is dark property. This is why here we can write that if is dark is true, then we want to return here themes dot dark. In other case, we want to return themes dot light. In this case, we are passing outside both theme and is dark. Now we just need to create here toggle theme function and inside write the code which will toggle our theme. So actually what we want to write here, set is dark, so we want to set it again and we want to inverse it. This is why here I am writing not is dark. In this case we will set the opposite, so if it was true we will set false and vice versa. Now let's check if our code is working. So let's jump in browser, reload the page, as you can see here no errors and we are getting our theme. And now as you can see this is the array and here we have two things. First of all is dark false and here is our theme. So background color white and color black. And also as a second parameter we are getting here our function. This is our toggle theme which actually means here we can jump inside app and here we are not getting a theme but I want to destructure here everything. So in the same way like we wrote there we can get here theme then is dark property and here we have our toggle theme function. Now let's add some markup for our application. So here I want to remove our return and I want here to make some markup. So we need div with class name app. We need this for our CSS and after this we want to write our styles. And as you can see here we are writing exactly styles like we are doing it in React. So we can write here for example background color and here we want to use our theme. So it will be theme dot background color. And we can also use here color. So color will be theme.color. So actually we are not writing some classes like from CSS. We are writing directly styles because we set it with theme. Now we need to close our div and inside create a button and some text. First of all, let's add here div class name and here will be text and we want to write inside what color theme we have. For example, we can write here it's a and here we need some logic. So we are checking here if we have is dark theme. If yes, that we want to write here dark. In other case, light. Here is space and theme. 
Let's check this out. I'm reloading the page. As you can see, we have nice markup. And here in the center of the screen, we have a message. It's a light theme. So everything is working fine. And here we're reading our is dark property. After this, we need to render a button to toggle our theme. This is why here I want to write button. And here I want on click event. And inside I want to call our toggle theme that we already created. Now inside this button, let's just write text toggle theme. And let's check if it's working. So I'm reloading the page. As you can see, we have now a button toggle theme. I'm clicking on it and bam, our screen is black. Our text is white. I'm clicking again and everything is white with black color, which actually means we successfully implemented our feature. Now it's important that you understand 100% how it's all working. So as you can see here, we have a context and actually from context as a global property, we can return whatever we want. In our case, we want to return an array with two arguments. First of all, an object with property theme and is dark, which we already used, and toggle theme to change our theme. Now here, when we clicked on the button, this toggle theme happened. And we're jumping inside our context. And here we have our toggle theme. As you can see here, we have our theme provider. And inside we have a state. And actually this provider is global for the whole application. And here we have our state for is dark. And we simply inverse in it. And this means that we are selecting another theme. Because after it was re-rendered, we have the new property is dark. And the new recalculated theme that we are passing everywhere. And here I want to add one more cherry on the top to make our application awesome. As you can see here, we are toggling the theme, we are reloading the page and it is white again. And this is of course not cool. This is why I want to store inside local storage our current theme. And we can easily do this. So first of all here, I want inside toggle theme to set local storage. So here local storage set item and we want to set here is dark property just so we know what we are setting and as a value we must set a string. This is why here I am using json stringify and I am passing inside not is dark. And if you are asking why not because actually this is toggle and as you can see here we are inversing it. This is why here we also need to inverse it. But it's not enough because we also want on initialize to set it inside state. And for this here we can use a use effect and just say that it should be happened once on initialize. So here we have a function and as a dependency array I am passing here an empty array. And this means that it will be triggered only once on initialize. Now inside here we can just set is dark property and we can read it from local storage get item and here we are trying to get our is dark property and if we got it so we got a string so we can compare here it with true string so if it is true then is dark property is boolean and it will be also true now we just need to set is dark inside our state so here set is dark and we are using here is dark property and this code will be triggered on initialize to set correctly our is dark property from local storage. Let's check this out. I am reloading the page, clicking toggle theme so actually everything is black. Now I can jump inside our application and here inside local storage I have is dark property in true. Now when I am reloading the page as you can see it stays black because we set it on initialize. So this is how you can implement themes inside react by using react context. And also, if you want to learn 5 most important questions for your React interview, don't forget to check this video also.